This is cryptogram number four in the Cryptograms and Coffee newsletter series. This puzzle is a little longer again, but this time we have some unique challenges. This is the first time we're seeing a puzzle that has no single letter word. So getting into this puzzle is going to be a little harder than we've had up until this point. One of the things this does have is an apostrophe, and that can be very helpful too, and we'll see why. So stay with me and we'll get through this puzzle. We'll see what the solution to it is and how we can get past a lack of single letter words. I'm going to start breaking into this puzzle by using the apostrophe. And in a case like this, most of the time, that letter after the apostrophe is going to be an S or a T. And S is usually the more common one, so I'm going to start by using that. You can see when I highlight this that the letter S appears throughout this puzzle, and that's a good sign. Now, after that, I started looking at some of the two-letter words, and honestly, there really wasn't a whole lot there. So I moved on to the three-letter words. And what I'm looking for is a three-letter word, a very common one that I can identify. And we've seen in the past how we've been able to identify the word the using uh, patterns where we have a high letter, a high usage letter at the beginning and at the end and a lower one in the middle. Well, and has a similar type of pattern. It's a little different, of course, but for and, the pattern is a high letter in the first position, a moderate in the second position, and a lower use letter in the third position. And I find that here. After filling in the word and, things really start to move. The word suddenly starts to come into focus, and as we're filling that word in, other things are starting to happen too. We're really starting to hit the cascade already at this point in the puzzle. And we just start by filling in that entire um, that entire row of words and then start back up at the top and filling those in too. So after filling all of this in, we're left with a beautiful message from Francis of Assisi, and I hope you find it to be a positive one, one that can kind of kickstart your day in a positive way. And we join us again tomorrow for the last of the puzzles this week, cryptogram number five.